Good evening and Jai Hind to my dear students. My name is Oishi Ma'am and today I am going to give the explanation of the RFP book Ricky Tiki Tavi. This is a part of class 3 second term. So this book uh, contains 7 chapters. Number 1 chapter is Ricky Tiki Tavi. So in this chapter, that is the first page I am showing you right now. This chapter is about the introduction of who is Ricky Tiki. So Ricky Tiki is the name of a mongoose. So you can see in the picture. So this is the mongoose. The head almost is a little pointed but it has a bushy tail. Okay. So this is a mongoose. If you type in the Google, you will be able to find... Uh, the picture of a mongoose so I would recommend everyone to see the animals and search it in the Google and see all the animals that are mentioned in this book so number one is the mongoose so it has a brown or golden color fur and, and it has a thick coating of fur at the back on its tail and it's a very quick swift swift animal okay so it actually uh, catches and eats snake so this is a story of a great war uh, the war between two animals that is the snake and the mongoose and uh, it was uh, in the big house of uh, big house in the town of Sigauli so you it can come in the fill in the blanks that which place uh, in which place did this story happen or take place so the pronunciation is Sigauli, S-E-G-O-W-L-E-E, Sigauli. Now we come across the second creature in this, uh, uh, this uh, total story. It is a bird and the name of the bird is Darzi, D-A-R-Z-E-E. It is the tailor bird. So the name of the bird is the tailor bird. Again, you will Google it and you will see the picture of a tailor bird. And it is famous for weaving a beautiful nest. So uh, it is about the tailor bird and it was in a couple like a female tailor bird and a male tailor bird. And another animal we come across is Chuchundra. The name is Chuchundra but actually the animal is muskrat. Okay again you will find in the uh, internet what is a muskrat. Muskrat is another animal which actually is very frightened or very uh, timid animal. So it does not come in the public or it does not come in the middle of the room. It's a very frightened animal. It's It almost looks like a rat but it is very timid. Timid means it wants to hide itself. It does not want to come in front of anyone. Okay, it only creeps on the wall. Creeps, creeps means slowly crawl on the wall. Okay. And uh, then we again um, uh, give, get a description of how Ricky, TV, Ricky Tiki Tavi looks like. His fur and his tail were like that of a cat as I told you and his head was long and pointed. And his eyes and nose were pink. So his eyes and nose were pink in color and his legs were so long. It was all cropped. It was all curled up inside his body, but when it used to stretch his uh, hands or legs, it could scratch anywhere on his body. He could flap up his tail like a brush and as he ran through the long grass, he called Ricky Ticky Ticky Tick. So how did the story started on this note that it was a rainy day and the burrow, you know, the animals... Uh, rodents like animals like the rabbits the rats the snakes all these sort of animals they uh, their home is known as burrow b-u-r-r-o-w okay and Ricky Tiki Tavi used to live with his parents father and mother and once there was a flood you know when the water is above a certain level there is a lot of water and the uh, ground is all drenched and wet and there is water all over the place so the burrows get the water level the get in, in the burrows the water level increases and all the animals come out of their holes so in the same way there was a lot of water in the house of Rikki Tiki Tavi 
and he was washed out of his house and there was so much water so he was uh, squealing squealing means make a loud shrill sound squealing into a ditch ditch means a uh, roadside mein there is a uh, small um, place where the water is filled up ditch is a small hole full of water he held on to some grass so riki tiki tavi was trying his level best to save himself so he held on to a grass and then he did not remember he fainted over there that means it was not he did not die faint means a short sleep where he will not be able to understand that what happened to him that means behosh ho jana so when he woke up he he realized that it was very hot he were he was somewhere he was saved but he was somewhere in an unknown place and he was lying in the hot sun in the middle of a garden he was very wet and a little boy was actually looking over him and there was and everyone uh, said that he was dead so let's bury him b u r y bury him means when any animal dies or any one dies so he is uh, taken he is covered in the soil so he is buried so the little boy said that okay he he is not alive he is not living so let us bury him then his mother said no no i think so he is alive but he is very dry he needs to be dried because he is very wet so he is still alive i think so so they took him into the house a big man picked him up and said no no he is not dead he is half drowned that means he uh, by mistake there was lot of water and he he was inside the water for a long time for that reason he was half dead he was not completely dead so what they did they rolled him up or they wrapped him up in some cotton wool and kept him near the fire so that his body would dry and he would get better after some time ricky ticky opened his eyes and sneezed achu and then he opened his eyes and the big man said that uh, let him stay in inside the house and he is a very inquisitive animal we come across a new word that is inquisitive inquisitive means that who is always asking question he has always questions in his mind that ye kaise hota hai wo kya hai all these sort of things keeps coming inside his mind so that is a inquisitive animal so he wants to know everything so when ricky ticky woke up he first tried to eat the cotton wool so remember the cotton wool he was wrapped up in he wanted to see what is it who wrapped me up why am i here all these questions came in his mind so he wanted to eat that and when they were lying on the table he had cleaned and scratched himself and jumped into the small boy's shoulder and now we uh, get the introduction of the small boy that his name is teddy and uh, Teddy's father said no no don't be afraid of the mongoose he is just trying to be friends with you ouch he is tickling my chin so this body part is known as chin so the mongoose was trying to uh, maybe do something to teddy and teddy felt a tingling sensation that means uh, teddy thought that oh ouch this that fur is you know tickling me tickling means gudgudi so it was tickling his chin so ricky ticky tavi looked down uh, at teddy's t-shirt sniffed his ear sniff means you know that that's with animals you know usually uh, you know they have very strong smell so they try to smell everything they can so uh, ricky ticky tavi what it was doing it was sniffing sniffing matlab to uh, with a sound to smell something okay like this sound so it was uh, sniffing teddy's t-shirt and then he climbed down then he sat and rubbed his nose good gracious says teddy's mother how tame he is and this is all the introduction that we have in the first chapter so they gave him something to eat and teddy uh, sorry ricky ticky tavi felt a little better and with this note ends the first chapter the second chapter is ricky ticky's inquisitiveness that how much question he had in his mind so once he did he wanted to see all over the place whatever is was in the house so he went to teddy's father and saw what he was writing he almost dipped himself his nose on the ink pot inside the ink pot from where uh, teddy's father was taking out the ink he want he went in the bathroom and almost drowned himself in the what what uh, bathtub 
and he wanted to see who what is a cigar and what will happen if i put my nose inside and cigar you know in olden times when there was not a cigarette so cigar was sort of a big cigarette with a uh, and in front of that there was burning something so it was very hot on the front so ricky tikita we did not know about it so he wanted to sniff it and in the process he almost burnt his nose okay then there was a noise and teddy's father and mother came to see him so they found that ricky tikki tavi was there with him in teddy's room and the mother was frightened as usually our mothers are they get frightened if and they think that our son or daughter is in danger if the animal is staying with them but ricky uh, but teddy's father said no you should not be worried because it's a it's a very friendly mongoose and he will take care of teddy so please don't be worried and they went off again to their own bedroom then the next morning ricky tikki came to eat the breakfast with them uh, riding on teddy's shoulders was uh, ricky tikki tavi and he went out in the garden to see what was there now he has seen everything what was inside the house now it was turn for him to see what was outside this was a wonderful hunting round and he was again sniffing there sniffing means i said uh, i already told you that it's with a sound that you smell something and then then we are introduced to the birds the tailor birds and their voice are very sorrowful matlab dukhi wala awaaz theek hai hum log jab dukhi hote hain tab kaise awaaz nikalta hai in the same tune the darzi or the tailor birds were singing and uh, they made a beautiful nest as i told you they are famous for making beautiful nest by pulling two leaves together and stitching up the edges with the fiber so they said that why are you crying what's the matter so ricky tikki tavi was very um, inquisitive they wanted to he wanted to know why are they crying now we with this we end the second chapter and we come to the third chapter the third chapter says ricky tikki tastes success we are very unhappy so darzi says that we are un- unhappy that's why we are singing in a very sad tune one of our, one of our babies fell out of the nest so it inside the nest there were many babies and one of the babies from the nest accidentally fell down and the nag ate him hmm said ricky tikki well that is very sad but who is nag nag kon hai darzi and the wife did not answer instead they hid in the nest because they were so afraid of the word nag that they could not say anything from the thick grass near the bush came the low hiss remember hiss is the sound of the snake a horrid sound that made ricky tikki jump back to feet it was a big a very loud sound that ricky tikki was also afraid slowly out of the grass rose nag the top half half of his body lifted off the ground and his hood spread out you know you have seen the nag if you next time if you see the picture of a nag you will see that uh, there is a big hood okay it's, it's a hood and it opens up like this as if he is trying to attack you okay so uh, he was fully 5 feet so that the from head till the tail it's the length of the total snake the nag the cobra is 5 feet and it swayed gently from side to side so the big hood it was swaying that means moving from one side to the other side and and it looked at ricky tikki with wicked eyes wicked eyes means not the cricket wala wicked it's wicked w i c k e d wicked eyes means evil eyes that means i want to eat you i want to eat you aise wala who is nag he said i am nag look at the special mark on my hood so there was a special mark on the hood of the nag so he said the the great lord brahma has put it so it may come in the fill in the blanks that who the who did nag say that has given that mark so you can uh, say the brahma the option the correct option is brahma he put it in first uh, he put it when the first cobra spread its hood over him to protect him from the sun while he was sleeping look and be afraid would you look then uh, the nag is asking ricky tiggy to be afraid of the that mark on his hood he spread out his hood and ricky tikki saw the mark on the back of it he was a little frightened but a mongoose will never be frightened for a long 
Also, though Ricky Tikki had never met a live cobra before, his mother had given him a dead ones to eat. Now, marks are all well, said Ricky Tikki. So now was thinking to himself. Then, then um, Ricky Tikki said, it's okay, you have the mark, I also accept, it's fine. But why did you eat the little babies of the um, Darzi or the tailor bird? Why did you eat him? Nag was thinking quickly to himself. He knew that mongoose in the garden was dangerous. So the Nag also knew that mongoose was a dangerous animal. So he was thinking, what should I say to drive him away from here? And then Nag did something to distract the mongoose, Ricky Tikki. He dropped his head a little. You eat eggs? He said, why shouldn't I eat birds? Then the Nag is trying to, you know, play with Ricky Tikki. Behind you, Ricky Tikki. Look, look, behind, said Darzi. Now the tailor bird was on the top of the tree. And the tailor bird could see what was going on on the ground. And he, the tailor bird warned Ricky Tikki. That look, look, what is coming behind you? And he did not have the time to think. He just jumped from there and straight into the air as high as he could. And at that moment, Nagina came. So this is the second snake. The first, the male snake or the boy snake was Nag. And the female snake was, female cobra was Nagina. That is Nag's wicked wife. Wife, whiz passed under him. So... Uh, Nag tried to distract Ricky Tikki and Nagina had the plan to attack from behind and but because of the Darzi bird the Nagina missed it and just at that moment when Nagina was was uh, like tried to attack him he moved he shifted and that's what he, he was not able to kill Ricky Tikki. Wicked Darzi said Nag striking angrily at the tailor bird's nest but Darzi had built the nest high up in the branches of the tree so it was out of the reach of the snakes. Ricky Tikki's eyes grew red with anger because it was very 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 angry. Why? Because uh, Nag and Nagina were not successful in killing the uh, mongoose Ricky Tikki. and when a mongoose fights a snake he must be quick. So a snake's head moves fast so that it is difficult to see the movement. But, mo but Ricky Tikki was a young mongoose. To, okay, And he managed to escape from Nagina. It made him quite confident and pleased. Now Nag and Nagina is over. Now the second snake came. And this, this, the name of this snake is Karet. K-A-R-A-I-T. So we first find this name on page number 13. And what is it? It is a dusty brown snake that lies in the mud. So this is the entire description of Karet. His bite is as poisonous as cobra's. But he is small so nobody notices him. The, the poison which the cobra uh, has the same poison karet also has but the size of the karet is much smaller than cobras so that's why nobody notices him and that's why he kills a lot of people compared to the cobra Ricky Tiki's eyes grew red again and he danced up to the karet noticing on his feet he could jump in any direction he did not know that what he was doing was more dangerous than fighting Nag Karet is so small and can move fast that unless Ricky bite him very close to his head, he would turn him and back. He would turn back and just bite Ricky Tiki Tavi. Ricky jumped around the snake, looking for a good place to bite him. Oh, look here, a mongoose is killing a snake. Teddy's mother screamed and his father ran out with a stick. But by the time he came up, Kareth had struck too far and Ricky Tiki had jumped on his back and bitten him hard and they rolled. The bite stunned Kareth. Ricky Tiki was just going to eat him. When he remembered, a full meal makes a mongoose slow. So now Ricky Tiki and Kareth had a, had a very bad fight and at the end he was able to kill Kareth. And the mongoose thought that I will not eat. Why? Because it's a, uh, if, uh, if he eats like much more than his capacity, he will become slow. So he will not be able to eat Nag and fight Nag and Nagina. 
so what's the use of it i have settled it all so with this we end the chapter number 3